but if you look at these if you start producing perennial grasses and, and grasslands and don't get stuck on native they haven't got to be native but they do need to be a, like a perennial grass or plant nothing wrong with loosen either you could have loosen in, in amongst these fellows as well so what are the perennial grass if you're not a native what, what those ones that i mentioned are summer ones like mm. that you know the, the, the those uh, green panic and, and premier digit and um you can buy that seed. Uh, yeah you can buy that seed yeah. difficult to buy native seed yeah, but, but yeah, um if you're happy with the other perennial grass oh yeah yeah but initially um on places most places that i go on to to help people get started with this there's a lot more grass there than they think and and they we, we can normally stimulate these grasses without spending any money which is a far, far better idea than, than sowing seed. Mm. Um, what do you think, Melbourne? Give him something to think about. Plus <laughs> <laughs> solution. Yep. Yeah. Running out of feed in yeah. late December, early June, especially with cattle. Yeah. Bear pattern like that. Yeah. And um, well, well you, you're going to have hay. And it's yeah. Grass. yeah. So, so, they're on there. They, they thrive. Well, well, they wouldn't thrive. They wouldn't thrive, but keep them going. Keep them going. If you gave them some, uh, like urea or some supplement with it, like some protein supplement, doesn't go to be urea, but a protein supplement, they do well, and, and sheep and cattle do well on it. But, you know, they, they, it does like protein. I still like my loosen, though. Nothing wrong with loosen. Loosen and perennial grass. Yep, yep. Yeah, but, I you mean, if you, if, uh, there's a fella in, where is he? Do you know where Bill Twig is? Oh, well, Twig, yeah, Twig. yeah, yeah yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Been I've been yeah, anyway. Yeah, but, but Bill Twig started planting uh, loosen into his well on his property a, a metre wide. Mm. And and that rose basing is probably close enough with loosen in, in grass. Yeah, oh. If you go any closer the the loosen it, it's it's an amazing plant but it but it won't let other things grow around it well enough. So go wide with it and use it use it to complement the grass, not they don't use any super no. Have any worms? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bill, Bill, Bill and Colin Twig, I think Bill they are. Bill yeah. Yeah. They started doing it long, that sort of stuff a long time ago. Yeah. Thousands yeah. of acres. Yeah. Yep. But that, I reckon that was one of the best uses of loosen I'd seen. Yeah. Yep. Rather than sowing it maybe seven inches wide, let it yeah. yard, yard part. Yeah. 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 So how many different species? Come oh, up they'd be here. They'd be um, oh, when they take over a pack, thirty or more yeah. easily. That's a um, that's that's a panic. One one of the one of the panics. Um, uh, we didn't want to get that summer grower. The main thing is whether it's summer or winter grower. Is another one here. Oh, uh, that that is oh, I think a bit hard to tell. That's most probably hairy panic. That one. That's, a, that's one of the windmill grass. Yeah, so maybe. Oh, I know all of it. Blow grass, they call that at yep. home. Yep. Um, I'm happy to buy perennial grass. What was that? I'd be quite happy to buy perennial grass. Yeah. This is, this is one of. Not what I thought it was. That's a panic as well. That's another another one, another summer one. Um, there's a lot of, lot of species here actually, and we're looking at it the worst time you could look at it. There's winter ones here. These are winter ones. They're the, they're often called plains grass. There is some good books. Um, Meredith Mitchell has written a good book. Uh, no, oh, no, it's only it's got about 25 species, and she's DPI. Um, native to our area, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, there there are some good books um, uh, available and. Uh, there's a Grangeland one too, which is probably the Riverina would suit here, okay? Yeah, that's yeah. That's that with uh, Lucian would be ideal. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. commonly called Plains grass. That one. Um, what else have we got? I don't know why they, uh, I don't know why they put the temporary tents out here. Yeah. This is wasteland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you'd wonder. These little ones here are wallaby grasses, they're winter growers. But the interesting thing, like often in southern New South Wales and, and, and into Victoria, you'll hear it said that oh, it's, it's winter rainfall, 
uh, some of the grasses don't grow. Well, almost all of these here are summer growers. Mm. They're still, still yeah. growing, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, still they're alive. Yeah, well, okay, they're, they're not doing much at the moment because it hasn't rained for quite a while. But, um, but, but they won't die. Yeah, but how much value is in that? There's not a lot of value in it, but there's more value in, in this than there is out there. Uh, and I guess that's the way of looking at it. <laughs> that is the same as this. Yeah, it's been eaten down. Been eaten down yeah. Well, yep. Skeleton weird. Yep. Nice and green. You're saying here goes the pond. It's one of the best blocks in the district. 640 acres. Yeah. So if that if that's the same as here, that that paddock that could be absolutely magnificent. That that, yeah. that paddock there, yeah. yeah. Most probably in in there there'd be um, native legumes as well, um, like climber uh, glycines. They, they climb up the other grass species. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you don't worry too much about that. But there'd be a lot of paddo intro here. Yeah. And years ago they used to. Yep. So now with um, the shortage of water and it takes so much water to fill the channel that yeah. it's not taken nominal now that it was laid out for the irrigation. Ah, right. Uh, mm. okay. All right. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll get home, I think. Yep. So is that yours? Is that block at 600 acres? Yes. No, that one. Okay. The state you said, no, no, this is all part of the first 640 acres. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. That's the, uh, this fellow's place, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Malcolm's place. Yeah. All right. So, look, those paints of seeds down there, that'd They've be wild black, oats. black oats, I think. Black oats. Yeah. Are they native or are they just... No. Different? No. Are they grey box? Yeah, no, the, the, you mean the grass here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, just, just, just the, the, the white head. Grasses just here. Oh, there. They're, 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 yeah. Okay, so like these ones. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Uh, you try to get them out of your grass, out of your, your. Wouldn't worry about getting them out of the grass, but they are a cropping problem. Right. But they do drop out. Um, I haven't seen it at home now for a long time. What is it? Wild oats? Is it, is, I, well, I presume it's wild oats. Wild oats, black oats, or whatever. And a lot of people allow ryegrass, don't they, and put their sheep in to eat out the ryegrass before they crop too. Yeah, well, yeah. ryegrass is good feed, it just yeah. happens to be a cropping weed. Are your dogs? Yeah. Malcolm, do you want your dogs?